Asia Academy. Okay, so what are the determinants? Staffing policy. Next, budget allocation. Numbers of students. And universities are able to say about the numbers of positions. And the levels of salaries or promotions. Okay, what is staffing policy? Staffing policy deals with the qualifications of staff that is meant to teach with a particular institutions or academy. How about budget allocation? In most countries, the budget allocations are given by government in the specific percentage, and the numbers of students uh, happen to be in quota, meaning they uh, minimize the numbers of students to enter a certain course or colleges. And for the university, with regards to positions, each of the positions, they, not, they are not after the one position they, they have to, but rather they are after the things that they are about to teach. Okay. And the levels of salaries or promotions depends on the government. If they have extra fund, they have, if they have funded uh, extra to be given to the uh, qualified teachers of the academy. Okay, next. There are some admin, rigid administrative procedures that govern changes in academic structures, program, and mode of operation. Okay, let's have, let's compare Uruguay and Venezuela. Okay, in the University of Republic, in the country of Uruguay, they exercise a monopoly over education in the country for about 150 years. That is, they started some planning processes and established post-graduate program for the first time. So that is, and there is this 150 years ago, and only this 21st century that they started the post-graduate study. In however, in the Venezuela, there are the process of uh, dynamic private business administration meaning that most of the courses that they have is more on business. They have to wait several years to receive official approval from its council of rectors for a new MBA program designed and delivered jointly with the top of Harvard Business School. So they cannot uh, process a new curriculum or program not until the Council of Directors and Council of Education have designated or met their deeper approval. So that's different between the two. Okay, how about in some institutions that, uh, that have certain reform, management reform? So let's think again, from, let's compare it again, Uganda and Tanzania, both, uh, both universities. So both found in Africa, these universities are both found in Africa, and they have compared with the good financing and quality crisis. So the leaders of these universities brought on work of that change. What do they do? They introduce management structures and implement alternative, alternative financing strategies without government interference. Meaning that they have earned uh, in an income generating Project. So they are not uh, very dependent on the government for their own funding. Okay. Next, how about in Bangladesh and Sri Lanka? What management reform do they have? So for this particular country, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial spirit is being punished. All is de facto in that institutional. If they are going to have they're going to push through an income generating uh, project, meaning to say that their country's 
what? So, institutional income generated through tuition fees and other remunerated activities cannot be used by the institution. So, what happened to the excess funding? They are being transferred to the finance ministry, they are being transferred to the government as a Thank you. 